Okay, this is how to pre-flight the FMSs. So uh, you come in here, you make sure you've got the correct date uh, for your uh, database, which we do. And if you don't, you can have a standby database right here. And to move it, you just uh, you just push the buttons and it swaps. Okay. So when you start, you want to go to index, then you're going to go. You're going to check every one of these in sequence. First one is FMS control. We've got FMS one, FMS two. They need to be synced together. If they're in independent mode, we're going to confirm independent mode. Okay. Now, if it's like this, then you want to go uh, sync. You want to sync it to FMS one. So this is the master. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go back to FMS. I mean index. Next one is GPS control. We're going to make sure both GPSs are working. They are. Okay. Back to index. VOR control. This just means if a VOR is notumed out, you can type it in here so the airplane knows that that VOR doesn't work. Something we don't use very much. Position in it. You want to come here and you're going to set your position to one of the GPSs. And I'm going to go to page two. Next, GPS one. I'll push this. It'll bring this down to the scratch pad. I'm going to go previous, page one. And I'm going to set the position to the GPS position. All right. Now, always we're going to look in the bottom right of the corner of the um, FMS for the next thing we're going to do. So it says flight plan, that's what we want. We'll go to flight plan and we're going to, we'll just put a flight plan in from Oshkosh to Pelwaki. So I've got, already got Oshkosh, so I'm going to bring Oshkosh down to the scratch pad and I'm push it over here and it's going to start. Now when I do that, it deletes the old flight plan. So now I'm going to push KPWK go to destination. I'll put an alternate of K-O-R-D there. And I don't know what the clearance is going to be, so I'll just put in one, one waypoint. H-I-G-U-H, I think is the first uh, waypoint on the approach. All right, that's all done. I'm going to hit execute. If I don't want it, I can hit cancel mod. I'm going to hit execute. All right, so the flight plan is done. Next, you look in the bottom right and it says perf in it. So we're gonna initialize the performance. We've already listened to the ATIS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we know we have two passengers and cargo is gonna be about hundred pounds because passengers don't have anything we do, the pilots do and it's about hundred pounds. We're gonna have about 6,000 pounds of fuel and we're gonna go at 15,000 feet. All right, and I'm gonna execute that. And if I look down to the bottom right, I can do VNAV setup, but it's not that important. Takeoff is what I want next. So here's takeoff. We're gonna take off on runway 36. But first I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go depart arrive. And I'm gonna select runway 36 from here. Oshkosh, departure, runway, next, 36. Execute that. Now I'm gonna go back to perf in it. I mean, it's perf takeoff. And hit perf twice and I get all the perf pages. Perf takeoff, and uh, we'll put wind of uh, 360 at five. Outside air temperature today is 28, and the altimeter, the altimeter reads this reads from the uh, captain's altimeter, which is over here. So I'm going to set the barrow to 3005, and you come back over here, you see it changed to 3005. That gives me a cross check to make sure I have set the altimeters correctly, or you can type it in. You can type it in 30.05. And notice the numbers get big. All right, two ways of doing it. Um, we're gonna take off the anti-eyes off. Flaps 15. You see our takeoff field length is uh, 42.24. We have 8,000 feet available. I'm gonna look at the next page. We're on page two of three. We're gonna go to the next page. And I'm gonna see what all my limits are. So we have a structural limit of 28,000. The watt limit is 28.933. And uh, we have no limits on this runway because it's 8,000 feet. Now, these are all my V speeds. I'm going to send them. Yep. And you can see they populate right here. We're going to lock them in. I'm going to hit refs here. And then I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to make turn them blue. And when I turn them blue, they are locked in and they won't change. Okay. Come back down here and I'm going to go to legs. And I can see what my flight plan is. And that's how you set up the FMS for takeoff. That was 